One in seven teens in the United States will run away from home. And of those kids, one third are lured into prostitution within 48 hours. One in five individuals in prostitution are children. And 12 to 14 is the average age of entry into prostitution. Since 2008, the Kentucky Rescue and Restore Group, which is administered by Catholic Charities, have served 151 victims here in the Commonwealth. However, fewer than 20 of those cases have been prosecuted as human trafficking crimes. We need tougher laws here in Kentucky to address this situation. As many of you who were here last session will recall, uh, the gentleman from Christian Eight, the lady from Boone 66 and I brought forth House Bill 350. And while it passed off the floor unanimously, the other chamber failed to pass the bill. The three of us spent this interim discussing how to make House Bill 350 better. What could we do? And so we scheduled a series of stakeholder meetings with every conceivable organization that could be impacted by the legislation. We spent months and we met with folks among those, the AOC, DJJ, DCBS, the KSP, district judges, family court judges, prosecutors. All of those folks came to the table and helped us make previous House Bill 350 better, in my judgment, and is the piece of legislation that you have before you today is House Bill 3. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to just share um, two quick points. In one of those stakeholder meetings with prosecutors, uh, we had with us the Commonwealth attorney from Warren County, Chris Cohorn. Chris has been uh, instrumental in helping us uh, get the language to the point that it is and to make the piece of legislation what I believe is as strong as it is. We were here that day and when Chris drove home, he got home to the news that a 13-year-old child had just been picked up um, because she was being sold by one of her female relatives. Chris doubled down on his efforts and became even more involved and more dedicated to making sure that this situation would not continue, gentlemen from Warren, in your community. On Wednesday, when we presented this bill to the House Judiciary Committee, the very same day that I was there, I was informed of a potential case of trafficking that had occurred in Bourbon County the day before. Uh, the details are still uh, emerging, and I've been asked not to um, go into that this morning. But for those of you who think that human trafficking is something that happens in big cities, that it happens in New York and Chicago and Los Angeles, it does. But the sad news that I'm here to report is that it's also going on in our backyards. So the time is now, the time is right for this body to take this action this morning to strengthen those laws.